Hey there guys, this is Expert123456777. Now, I'm creating this little Maya tutorial video. Um, on Minecraft forums you can find an article by Shrog with a Maya download for a Minecraft character ring. I know some people were confused as to change their skin, so I'm going to show them how to do that. So, yes, I have flash drive named Notch. It actually has a notch in it, so it's perfect. Um, so you download the Minecraft character rig. I'll be putting the link in the description. And you get this. You have images, comes with the basic Minecraft character layout. Then has scenes. You'd open this up, but first, I just want to show you this. It says here the rig is set up to use any Minecraft skin. Simply replace the char dot. PNG with the skin of your choice. I've tried that. It does not work. Do not do this. So, you open this up. And then, as soon as you do that, you'll be opening something up called Hypershade. Now, I'll use my skin as an example. But, uh, yeah. So Autodesk Maya's opening, here it is. Ta-da! Okay. Here is the rig. It's basic. So what you do, you make sure this is on. Go to Window, Rendering, and you have an option here, Hypershade. You can also just go to Help. It will load. Oh my gosh. Okay. Help. Type in Hypershade. You can go here and it will point to it just like that. So you open up Hypershade. Loading, loading, loading. Aha, here we go. And it's Lambert 1. Double click on this. You now have it open over here. So. Let's see. What you might want to do is name it to your Minecraft character name. I'm expert123, you know. So I'm going to just put X. It's a lot shorter. You click on this on, under color. You open it up. Uh, make sure this is off. This needs to be off. Next, you'll see this file. Look for your image. I have mine on my desktop right now. Um, I had it on my desktop. Is it in downloads? Hold on, I'm so sorry about this, guys. Um, here it is. So I open that up, and look, right here. No, no, not file one. X. Okay, so now that's done. That's basically all there is to it, quite easy. Um, it looks a little blurry, doesn't it? But um, as soon as you render it, which is this button here, it won't look too blurry. It's actually going to be normal, just because of the setting it's in. So let's let it load. Let it load. Okay, so that's what it will look like after you render it. Got the basic stuff right here. You got left leg, no, yeah, left leg, right leg, arm, you know, there's the other arm, then you can just select the entire thing, can't select the head, you can use the elbow, which is above this, and then you can just select everything up, and then yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching this Hypershade tutorial. I will see you all next time. Alright, expert123456777, logging out.